Okay, so in this question, number 16 from C12, October 2017, IAL, we are given some information about a function, um, ax cubed plus bx squared plus 2x minus 5, where a and b are constants, tells us that the point P14 lies on the curve with the equation, and also the tangent to y equals f of x at the point P has equation 12x minus 8. We've got to use this information, these two pieces of information, to find what A and B are. So first of all, let's just use the first piece of information, P14. That's the x-coordinate and that's the y-coordinate. So if we substitute these, these into the equation, I know that basically when I put 1 into the equation, 4 should come out as my result. I input 1 into the function, the output should be 4. So let's do that. Let's input 1 into the equation. You have a times 1 cubed plus b times 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 5, and that's going to give us 4. Okay, so that will give us uh, one of the equations that we need. Uh, that might help us. Okay, so let's just work out what that gives us. Well, of course, 1 will be a plus b plus 2 minus 5 equals 4. So you've got a plus b minus 3 equals 4. So a plus b equals 7, we could say. That's one equation we've formed Okay, from this information. The second piece of information they told us is that the tangent to f of x at the point p has this equation. Okay, So if it has this equation, if the tangent to the curve has this equation, that means the gradient the gradient of f of x when um, x is equal to 1, okay, the gradient of f of, x, f of x is going to be 12, okay, when x equals 1. Why? Because it has the same um, gradient as its tangent at that point, okay? So the tangent to a curve has the same gradient as the curve. Okay, at the point where it touches the curve. So when x equals 1, the gradient of the curve must be 12. So at point P, 1, 4, the gradient, you can say the gradient function, okay, um, you can say f dash 1, the gradient function, if you put 1 into it, you're going to get 12 as your answer. So that's another piece of information that's going to help us to solve this problem. Okay, so f dash of 1 will give us 12 because it has the same gradient as the, the tangent. Okay, so first we've got to find what f dash of x is. Okay, so we have our function which is ax cubed plus bx squared plus 2x minus 5. So let's write that down. So f of x is ax cubed plus bx squared um, plus 2x minus 5. Plus 2x minus 5. So f dash x is going to be 3a x squared. Differentiating, that's the gradient function. 3a x squared plus 2bx Okay, plus 2, and the constant disappears. Okay, so now we know that f dash x, the, the differential, the gradient function, when you put 1 into it, you're going to get 12. So let's put that in here. We're going to have 3 times a times 1 squared plus a plus 2 times b times 1 plus 2 is going to give us 12. So we're going to end up with 3a plus 2b equals 10. 3a plus 2b equals 10. So now we have two equations which we can solve simultaneously. Okay? There's different methods you could use to solve it simultaneously. So this is from before. Get rid of that.
There's different methods we can use to solve these equations simultaneously. Um, substitution, elimination. Most people, I think, are more comfortable with elimination. So we have A plus B equals 7. That's what we got from the first part of information. And 3A plus 2B equals 10. Let's make the Bs the same. Seems easier. So multiply this equation all by 2. So we're left with 2A plus 2B equals 14. And if we subtract, we have 3A minus 2A, which is A equals 10 minus 14, which is minus 4. So your A is equal to minus 4, and B is therefore going to be 7 minus A. So B is going to be 7 take away minus 4, which is 11. So the question told us to do what? Calculate the, va a, a, the value of A and B. Okay? So we've got to calculate the value of A and B. Sorry about that stuff underneath. So A is equal to negative 4, and B is equal to 11. And there we have the answer to our question. I hope that was clear. Thank you for watching.